All right, welcome back. This is the uh, lesson four in our PHP Basics series. Um, and for this lesson, we're going to continue on with what we did in lesson three. Um, and where we left off, we were just getting into conditionals, and I and I didn't really explain them very well. I just wanted to show you a quick um, example of one. Um, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the else portion of a if conditional. And the way to start an else is right after the uh, closing curly bracket, we type in else, and we give ourselves another set of curly brackets. And how this is going to read is if the uh, name here is null, then go ahead and give it the value of Alan. If not, if there is a value, then do whatever is in here. So what I'd like to do now is it makes no sense to to do what we did here, where it autom where it's going to toss in my name if there isn't any. Better thing to do is just not make it display welcome back. In the else here, we're going to do echo and we're going to take this welcome back statement and put it in here instead. And then we can also get rid of this echo here and simply concatenate the variable inside this here string. Um, so what we're also going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this line here and cut it and paste it here. And we can go ahead and re get rid of this block of PHP. And kind of clean up our code a little bit. So what this is going to do, again, is check to see if there's a value. And if there isn't, we're going to go ahead and remove this here because it doesn't really matter. We don't want it to do anything. However, if there is a value, then we're going to go ahead and retrieve that value and toss it here into our welcome back statement here. So let's go ahead and save and upload. And there you have it. We just have our links. So it's checking to see if there is a value. If there isn't, it's going to ignore um, our echo statement that has the welcome back paragraph. So if we give a value or send a value by clicking on one of our links here, it will then output our welcome back statement. Um, and this, I would think, makes a little more sense. Why would we want the welcome back statement if there isn't anybody here? So let's get a little deeper in here and we're going to go ahead and use some HTML forms which if you're not familiar with um, we're uh, probably going to do a tutorial on uh, HTML forms here shortly um, so let's go ahead and create the form and the action is going to be we're just going to have it load our page and the method um, and we're going to introduce something new here and that is another very another um, array uh, and that is post um, very similar to git and you'll see the difference here shortly Let's go ahead and close that. And we're just going to add an input field here. And we're going to encase it in a paragraph tag. So we'll say my name is, and then we'll create an input field. The type is text. 
the size, let's just say 30. And we need to give it a name. And we'll give this name And we'll call this input user. And let's go ahead and close that tag. So now we have a very simple form. It's going to have an input field to label my name is. And the viewer or user can type in their name. Um, we need to create another, uh, or we need to create a submit button now. Just input type submit. And we're going to give it the value login. So this is now going to show a button on the page, which we go ahead and say we look at design view here. You can see our form. One thing to note that I did not note earlier with PH in the uh, first couple lessons PHP is a server-side language so um, Dreamweaver is not going to run our PHP code so none of this matters in our design view right now all it knows is that we have a block of PHP and it's going to represent that with this little icon here um, so if you're expecting to see a result in your preview of any of this PHP that's not going to happen you need to either have a server uh, testing server or, or a, um, your uh, or check it on your actual server um, which is why we've been saving and uploading so we're gonna go ahead and change this get here to post which and we're going to change the key here to user so to explain this really quick the when the form is used and we're using the post method when it submits it's going to add the values of every input box in this form um, that has a name to the post array so in this instance we have one value here we have the user and it's going to send whatever has been put into this input box to the post array with the key user so let's go ahead and change this here to post as well and then user and let's go ahead and we're going to remove our links here we don't need those anymore and we're going to put our form here up at the top of the page so let's go ahead and save and upload and cut and load the page so our if conditional is still working um, because we don't see a welcome back statement uh, so what we want to do now is we're going to put our name in here and click login and what it's going to do is reload the page because we told the action to be um, load the current page we're on and it's going to add the value here into our post array and if all goes well it should output it below so log in there you go now this is actually not you know legitimate login screen um, or setup form here um, it's not doing anything it's not checking the user against anything but this is just an example of how we can use a form in the post array um, to manipulate uh, what PHP does and as a added little bonus I want to show you a, a trick um, that you may not think to, to, to do um, advanced users you know this is nothing new but um, kind of get your brain storming a little bit on, on some uses of this um, we can utilize PHP to dynamically affect our CSS as well so to give a quick example, I'm going to kind of fly through this because we're running out of time. Let's go up here to our head and we're going to embed some CSS here. And let's
let's go ahead and give this paragraph here a class. And we'll just call this um, welcome, welcome message. And let's define that class here. And if you're not familiar with CSS, we've got some uh, other tutorials that talk about it, and we've got some some more coming up to get uh, dive a little deeper into CSS. Um, let's go ahead, and we're just gonna change the uh, color. or define the color that is and we're just gonna make it black and let's go ahead and really quick we're gonna make another input field here and we're gonna change the label to my favorite color And we'll change the name of this input to color. What we're going to do up here is we're going to add some PHP. And we're going to need to retrieve that, that information. And we're going to do, we're going to use a conditional. We're going to say if post color is equal to null then my color sorry equals and we're going to make it black which um, if you don't know, this is the color code for black. However, we're going to put an else in here. So, if um, the color is not null, my color is equal to post color. Now, we're not done yet. What we need to do now is we need to change this here. And we're going to remove the color value here. And we're going to toss in some CSS in line here. Or, excuse me, we're going to toss in some PHP in line. So make our PHP tag echo my color and then close our PHP so if all goes well we should be able to fill out this form put in our name and put in our favorite color and when we hit submit it's going to reload the page should toss our name in here but also change the color of this paragraph to whatever our favorite color is so let's save and upload and let's bring the page up again so let's uh, fill out the form my name is Alan Quant and my favorite color is red hit login there you go um, to test our conditional let's go ahead and say We'll just put in my name, and if we leave this empty, it's going to check it as null, and when we hit login, the color will go back to the default black that we set up.